I got him. Ooh, that's good in there. Come on, he's wrapped around the dang tree. He's wrapped around the tree. Come on out of there, girl. Oh, no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, look at this crappie here. Ooh, Lord. That's a good in there. If you're interested in learning about crappie fishing, catfishing, and maybe even some bass fishing, you're on the right channel. And hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate your support. All right, y'all. I'm out on a lake that I've only been on twice. Um, and I, I was on it before I had the Garmin Live Scope. And so I never caught a crappie on it. I, I looked around, looked around with this, and I fished and fished and fished and just never had any luck. So today, I've got perfect conditions. I mean, it's a no clouds whatsoever. Northeast wind, cold front. So I'm going to try to catch crappie with this Garmin Live Scope. There it is over there. I'm going to use my side imaging to try to locate some brush or some standing timber or something like that to fish around and see if I can't uh, catch a crappie out of this lake. Oh, look at here. There's a brush pile right there. We're going to fling the live scope overboard and see if we can't uh, find us a fish to catch out of that real fast. Let me back up over it. Turn this off. We don't want to get out here and drain the batteries down. I don't even have any idea what color they may like here. I catch a bunch of them on this one right here on Lake Fork. So it's on this ride. We're going to try it and see. What I'm seeing in this thing is, is kind of buried inside of it. But, uh, and nothing really all that big, to be honest with you. So, I'm probably not going to waste too much time. We're moving. <clears throat> One of the big benefits of having a live scope you can tell within a few seconds whether or not you have enough fish in this area to fish for them or not. I got that one. I got him. Woo wee, it feels like a good one too. Look at here. First crappie on this lake, I'll be dang, we'll take that one for sure. We can get him in the boat. Look at here what we got guys. That's a good one. You ain't kidding. Oh Lord, look at here. <clears throat> uh oh, be still. First one on this body of water. Man, that's a that's a stud right there. Heck yeah, we'll take that one. All right, let's get this good big girl back in the lake. All right, see if we can't find another one down there. Oh, one nibbled it. One did. He come up on it. Smell another little piece of stuff on there look at here ooh, ooh. big one come here you you be still catch this one crappie per spot, I might have to hit a lot of spots. That's all I'm doing on this lake is I'm idling down the banks looking for brush piles or looking for any sort of uh, lay downs or anything like that. And uh, I stopped fishing. I just 
you know, shine that live scope in there for a second or two, I can tell if there's something down there. And, uh, you know, it helps. Sure helps eliminate a lot of water fast. All right, I don't know if you can see it with the glare of sunshine. There's a lay down right here in front of me that I found with the side imaging. And there's fish hanging down inside that lay down. We're going to see. Uh, nothing really on top of it, but everything's... It, you know, only fish I've caught has been down in there close to the bottom anyway, so we're going to see if maybe there's not a crappie down inside this big lay down here somewhere. Oh, that's one right there. I said it wasn't nothing but bluegill. And that's a big bluegill if that's what it is. Yeah, hey, look at here, good black crappie. <clears throat> come here, you. Hey, come. These are some good ones in here. Come on over here now. There we go. Hey, be still. Hey, he's a nice one too. They ain't want about too awful fast, but man, when you get one, they're good ones. Heck yeah. We'll let him go and come back when we get hungry and get him. I think I mentioned, on, if you watched my last video, I mentioned about uh, keeping your jig bright when using this live scope. Always keep it the color or the brightness of the fish that you're trying to catch. Well, something else that's pretty pretty important also is that your jig is pretty will be pretty good size going down there sometimes especially in shallow water and if you see that your the jig you're using is about the same size as the fish that's after it heck you might as well leave because that's just little old bitty fish they can look a lot bigger on this screen than what they actually are um you won't and you know that by the size the comparison of the jig that you're using versus the image that shows up of the fish down there that's all around it trying to get it sometimes i mean i was guilty at the beginning especially you pull up and see a bunch of them boy and fish swimming all down in there and you're fishing fishing for them getting these little bites and can't catch them well heck it's them little old tiny bluegills or something I got that one. There he comes up. Hey, he ain't very big, but he's a keeper. He's as big as them other couple we caught, huh? Well, we'll take him. As tough as it's been. I got him. I got him finally. Golly, that's another keeper, but goodness, it's hard to get him. Shoot. Hey. These guys, I'm talking about, have got the locked jaw, man. It is tough for me. Did I catch one? He's a good one. But you got to work your butt off for one of them. Even sitting here watching them on this thing here and they just stick your tongue out at you or something and don't even want to bite anything. I don't know, maybe I just ain't got the right color. That's a possibility. I got that one. He come up there and that doesn't actually hit it like he was supposed to. actually hit it like he was supposed to. Come here. Another nice one. Another good keeper fish. Okay, let's see if there's nothing down there. Let's see if we can get a 
another one fire out there. Come all over it. And said, no, we don't want that thing. Nothing did, though. <coughs> hey, another good one. Get him in here. Another, another nice one. <clears throat> I got you. I got you, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, it's another good one. <clears throat> Come here, you. They trying to hide down in that brush from me, but I'm getting them. I figured them out now. Oh, that's good in there. Come on, he's wrapped around a dang tree. He's wrapped around a tree. Come on out of there, girl. Oh, no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, look at this crappie here. Oh, Lord. That's a good in there. Move it down in there. Shoo -wee. Come here, you. Look at that big rascal. Look at that big thing right there. And that was down in the brush. This old six pound line was sawing on the limbs. Dang. Look at there. Nice one. Oh, there's another one out of there. Another good one. Look at here. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Get on my face. Oh, yes. Another good one. That jig just fell out of there. Another good crop. September the 18th. I don't know if I can run down through here, but I'm going to try it anyhow. Y'all wish me luck. Alright y'all, hey, <clears throat> I hope this showed you just how easy the crappie fishing can be when you have the right electronics. I mean, these new big screen, Hummingbirds, Lowrance, Garmin, I mean, they have, this live scope, I mean, they have made fishing very simple. Uh, now, they don't always just load the boat up with limits, I ain't gonna tell you that. But as far as catching fish, every day you go, as long as you're in the right depth. As long as the wind allows you to fish the right depth of water, you're going to find some crappie to catch. It's, it eliminates sitting there not wondering, knowing, you know, not knowing if there's any fish there or not. You can just look down there for a few seconds. If there's not any, you can move on to the next spot. And you can, if there's a lot there, you can also, you know, fish the area more thorough and, and work it good and, you know, pick out a few more fish that you maybe wouldn't have if you just up and left because you thought maybe there weren't any there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I, and uh, I really appreciate your support. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for joining me.